In the beginning of time, there was the Ford Raptor, the most off-road worthy half-ton truck, well, from the factory. And then as time progressed, of course, now there's also the Ram TRX. But General Motors hasn't really had an answer for this, a wide body truck with lots of power, lots of wheel travel, but it's changing. Right here next to me, I have the new Jackal. It's a Chevy Silverado by Pax Power. It's not a factory truck. It's a kind of an aftermarket build. But in this video, I want to show you both trucks, exactly how they compare. Uh, by the way, there is a supercharged V8 under the hood of this Chevy. And also let you know exactly what it's like to live with this Jackal supercharged wide body truck on a daily basis. Currently, the second generation of the Ford Raptor is available in two body configurations. Kind of a short super cab and this full crew cab version. And for the third generation, for 2021 and beyond, the Raptor is actually switching all crew cabs all the time. Well, it's a very similar story right here with the Jackal. This is a true crew cab truck with a short bed, but of course, it has the suspension to actually compete against the likes of the Ford Raptor and the Ram TRX. So let's take a look at the suspension a little bit closer. So first of all, this is stage three of the Jackal build from Pax Power, which means it's a wide body truck with King Shock suspension. And so what does this mean? Let's walk around in the back and I'll show you kind of the width of the truck. This build is basically six inches wider and you can kind of see by the fenders than a standard uh, Chevy Silverado truck. And these fenders are custom made. Check this out. But fit and finish is really, really good, in my opinion. You can see it right here, how it matches to the bed, how it matches down below to the bumper, and it covers um, almost three and a half inches more to the side. Uh, the axle is about the same on this truck in the rear. The frame is about the same as a standard four-wheel drive Silverado. If you can see the leaf springs down there, they're custom Devers. There is a little bit of a suspension lift, not much. You can see a little block over there. Maybe a two to three inches of suspension lift. And then there is a spacer mounted to the hub to kind of bring the width and the tire a little bit further out. And of course, very, very fancy 3.0 King shocks. These tires are 37s. In this case, they're Toyo Open Country RTs, as you can see, and they're a little bit used up because this truck has so much power, it's kind of uh, can spin the tires very, very easily. So, what do you have on the Raptor? Let's take a quick look. What, of course, the Raptor offers. As you can see, of course, the Raptor from the factory has 35 inch tall tires. And it's also a wide body setup, about six inches wider once again. These are Fox shocks. These are live valve. They're um, adaptive, so they actually change the stiffness using this valve. Let's continue by looking at the front suspension setups on both of these trucks. Right here, you're looking at the Raptor, of course. Once again, Fox shocks, aluminum A-arms, and uh, of course, a slight lift on this truck. And this truck is also offering you all the capabilities of a very advanced four-wheel drive system. I'm talking about um, torque on demand, um, all-wheel drive capability, four high, four low, uh, rear locker in the Raptor, and front torsen limited slip differential. Now let's take a look what the Jackal has to offer. Uh, this is once again a wide body kit, which means uh, custom made Baja kits A-arms. Baja kits is well known in the off-road world as well. Of course, King off-road shocks here, coilovers, as you can see here. And this offers more wheel travel, slight lift once again. And of course, these front fenders um, allow room to actually fit a 37 inch tall tire and still actually be stylish, uh, be very well kind of put together. And the Jackal offers, of course, the transfer case that GM General Motors offers from the factory. Also has all-wheel drive capability for auto, for high, for low. And this started life as a LTZ, kind of a luxury truck with a Z71 package. So it has a G80 
rear limited slip or rear locking differential. But now let's take a look under the hood and see what these trucks have to offer. This second generation of the Ford Raptor and the upcoming third gen offer the following power plant. It's a high output three and a half liter EcoBoost. It's a twin turbo V6, 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. We don't yet know the power output on the upcoming third gen truck yet, but this engine has made it to a 10 speed automatic. Now let's look at this beauty. So generally a Jackal build starts with a 6.2 liter V8. But, I mean, you don't have to get a 6.2 liter truck. I mean, if you so chose, you could also start with a 5.3. But in this case, if you want to go all the way, just do it this way. Um, this is a Whipple supercharger sitting on top of a 6.2 liter V8. Of course, that V8 starts out at about 420 horsepower. But now, with special tuning and the supercharger and the pulley system that this truck offers, including the exhaust system and the air intake, 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque according to Pax Power. This engine is made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission and it's a hoot to drive. Right now I'm in four-wheel drive auto and let me do kind of a rolling start. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell the front end it kind of goes up it squats down and I can almost hear the rear tires breaking loose. Yeah, this truck has effortless power around town as you saw and it also has a very kind of a soft suspension setup. Although the shocks are adjustable, you can actually make them stiffer. But this truck likes to squat, it likes to dive, it likes to kind of uh, get a little bit leany through corners, but that's what it's about. This is kind of a Baja running truck and that actually has a good feeling for me because it's kind of fun. Well, let's keep going. Of course, custom hood with an air um, hood inlet right here on the front. Now let's look at the bumpers and kind of the underbody protection. Uh, these jackals come with these ADD stealth fighter bumpers. They're very tough and you can see the skid plate um, transitions all the way down. So, and then goes further underneath the engine, etc, etc. So, it has very good protection once again uh, for when you're going off-road. It also has this light bar which is, has its own uh, switch on the inside and you can see right here because this is an LTZ truck it also has a 360 degree camera views so actually a lot of capability built into this rig. And in the back also a custom bumper from ADD that also builds in the blind spot monitor radar system. All right, let's take a look what the Jackal has to offer on the inside. Well, this is an LTZ truck, as you can see. Leather seating, wireless charging. Like I told you, it has a 360 degree camera view. It has a heads up display. And you can configure this truck any way you want. You could start with a high country. You can start with a trail bus, perhaps. Some, you know, some other trim or even a work truck. It doesn't kind of matter if you love off-roading. You can actually go to Pax Power with a GM truck um, as long as it's crew cab, short bed, and actually start to build it out this way. All right, let's check out the Raptor interior really briefly and look at the driving modes. But you're probably now wondering about pricing, so let's discuss that. The Raptor, of course, has its own interior look and feel as you can see kind of raptor imprinted in the seats a very special steering wheel this particular truck right here has every option including carbon fiber trim uh, of course paddle shifters it's got baja mode and all the modes that this truck has are actually tied in to the in entire truck system including adjusting the steering feel the shock obviously the fox shocks in here so it's it's quite good and of course it also has the camera system and this truck right here we purchased as a long-term test vehicle for about 77,000 bucks so how much is that Jackal and before I tell you all the pricing on the new Pax Power Jackal you're probably wondering about some of the specs ground clearance comparison approach departure angle comparisons well actually Pax Power doesn't have all the measurements 
actually specified and published yet but as you can see including this of course steel bumper and 37 inch tall tires it has an insane approach angle um, and probably more than 11 and a half inches of ground clearance and the Raptor of course has about 30.2 inches of approach and about like I said 11 and a half inches of ground clearance so if you want clearance I mean 37s give you a boost and of course the suspension gives you a boost and here's how the pricing works the Jackal starts as a regular width truck package so called stage one that's about 15,000 bucks to add the suspension components some of the bumpers and maybe even performance parts like the exhaust system then there's the stage two part of the stage two is also kind of the width it goes to the wide body package with special suspension system um, with 35 inch tall tires and of course air intake and exhaust systems uh, are also included finally stage three includes everything you see here and then on top of that stage three plus is the supercharger stage three starts at about 35 grand on top of the donor truck and then the supercharger adds another 15,000 so total package you see here the truck was originally about 50 grand then another 50 grand for the stage 3 plus the supercharger about a hundred thousand bucks you see here but like I was saying you don't have to spend all the money at once if you don't want to you can build it up kind of a la carte using this menu from Pax Power and you could actually match the Raptor on price if you wanted to you know for about 75 grand you can have a V8 powered uh, truck as well so let me know what you think in the comments below how do you think the new Jackal compares to the likes of these classic factory Baja running trucks like the Ford Raptor and leave me a few comments here down below as well and you will find me also at tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and independent and honest reviews